into Okay, so yung last topic natin is about the design for flexure and shear. So gagamitin na natin yung dalawang equation dito. Yung formula for flexural stress or bending stress which is equivalent to MC over I or M over S. And para sa horizontal shearing stress o transversal stress na VQ over IB. Okay, so for this problem, you are required to solve for the value, the maximum value of P, kung saan masasatisfy niya dapat yung condition na yung flexural stress mo should be limited to 1,000 PSI and the shearing stress is limited only to 100 PSI. So, given ka ng cross-section ng iyong uh, beam, so tubular yan, so with the rectangular shape, so, 8 by 10, and then yung uh, butas niya is 8 by 6. Okay? So, you have here an overhang beam kung saan meron kang load P, which is the required, and 555 five, five, and 1,000 pounds sa dulo. Okay, so, ang mangyayari dyan, yung mga values natin na moment, shear, reaction, will be in terms of P. Tama? Okay, so gawin natin, uh, let's say this is support A and support B. So again, the first thing that we need to do, so for the solving of shearing stress and uh, flexural stress is to determine the value of your reactions. So I will say that this is all upward since ang ating mga load is going downward. Okay, so paano nga natin makukuha yung value ng kanyang reaction? So tama, mag-moment ka sa maalin dito sa dalawang support na to. So, gawin ko moment na lang ako sa A para makagawa ko ng equation ng RB in terms of P. So, when I take summation ng moment at point A, which is equivalent to 0, so our equation will be 10RB is equals to P multiplied by 5 and then 1000 times 15. So, our RB will be equals to, so, in terms of PNS, so, 5 over 10, so that will be P over 2, and then plus, so, 1,000 times 15 divided by 10, so, pintin ko lang, so, plus 1,500, so that will be your equation of your RB in terms of P, and then next, in order to solve for the value of RA, I will just take summation of forces vertical or summation of forces y, assuming that all upward forces is positive, so that your RA is just equal to the difference of P plus 100, ah, sorry, 1000, and then minus RB, which is equal to P over 2 plus 1500. Okay, so what will be the value of your RA? So that will be so P minus P over 2, so that is P over 2. And then 1,000 minus 1,500, so that will be 500. 500 yun plus. Okay, so we have now the value of RE and uh, RB. So let's now draw the shear diagram. Okay, so ang gawin natin, uh, i-project natin yung mga axis na to. So, i-project lang natin to. And then ito. And then this one also, and also this one. So, itong una will be our shear diagram. Okay, so ang nasabi doon sa point A, so ang sabi sa kanya, meron kang RA with a value of P over 2 minus 500. So, taas ako dito ng... P over 2 minus 500. So, dire-diretso lang ako dito. Ayan. So, ang sabi dito sa point na to, coming from P over 2 minus 500, bababa ako ng P. So, ang mangyayari, P over 2 minus P, that will be 
So, P minus, P over 2 minus P. So, that will be negative P over 2 minus 500. Okay? So, ang gawin ko, uh, di ba kapag kinoconsider natin yung maximum shear, uh, yung absolute value yung kinoconsider natin. So, ang gawin ko dito, i manipulate ko yung, equi yung equation na to. So, that will be, factor out ko yung negative. So, that will be P over 2 plus 500. Ano? So, wag malilito ha. Iisa lang yan. Kinactor out ko lang yung negative. Kasi nga, di ba kapag... Uh, kino-consider natin yung maximum shear, di, dinidisregard naman natin yung negative sign, di ba? So, yung value, numerical value lang yung mahalaga. Okay, so, after that, coming from this point, tataas daw ako ng RB with a value of P over 2 plus 1.5. So, negative, so, negative P over 2 plus P over 2, so 0. And then, 1,5 minus 500, so that will be 1,000. 1,000. And then, okay, dire diretso ka lang. Oops! Meron ka 1,000, so that will be 0. Okay, so so far so good. Nag-0 naman tayo, ibig sabihin tama yung drawing nating shear diagram. So in case na hindi siya mag-0, ibig sabihin, may mali ka nagawa sa mga preceding values ng shear mo. So you need to check that one. Okay, next will be our moment diagram. Okay, so for the moment, so again, coming from zero, kasi ito ay support. So, since nasa taas sa ligid siya ng plane, so, papunta siya dito. Ana, but we don't know the value, so just get the area of this, so that will be P over 2 minus 500 times 5. So, P over 2 minus 500 multiplied by 5. Or, that will be 2.5P minus 2,500. Okay, next. So, ito, nasa bandang ilalim siya. Ano? So, kung nasa ilalim siya, isusubtract natin yung value nito. Itong value na ito, isusubtract natin sa area nito. So, pupunta siya dito. So, paano ko nasabing nandito siya sa baba? So, kung medyo sanay na kayo mag-solve kasi ng uh, shear and moment, kung titignan nyo yung susundan niya, meron kasing idadagdag eh. Ibig sabihin, uh, dapat yung sinundan niya is negative. Kasi itong area na to mag add ka eh. So, dapat mag-zero ulit siya doon. Ano? Okay, so, ano ba? Okay, so, so subtract nga natin. So, lagay lang natin dito. So, 2.5p minus 2.5. And then, minus. So, yung area nito. So, 5 times... P over 2 plus 500. Okay? So, simplify lang natin. So, 2.5P minus 2.5 and then ito. So, negative 5 times P over 2. So, negative 2.5P and then 500 times 5. So, negative 2,500. Okay? So, cancel, cancel. So, the value here is negative 5,000. Ano? Okay, so, ito, yung value dito is negative 5,000, and then, next will be plus the area of this shear diagram. O, ano yung value ng shear nito? Ano yung area nito? So, negative 5,000 plus 1,000 multiplied by 5, so that will be 0. Okay? Ayan. So, yan yung ating shape ng moment diagram. Okay. So, next, uh, is check na natin. Ah, hindi pa pala. Meron pa tayo dito na section. Pero, since symmetrical naman yan, wala magiging problema. Bakit? Because the neutral axis is located at the center. 
So, kalakalahati lang yan. And then, ang gawin na lang natin, dagdag bawas. Para, yung uh, distance niya will coincide dito sa gitna. Ano? So, pag nag-transferred moment of inertia ka, yung portion ng AD squared will be zero. Okay, so, unahin na muna natin yung I. So, I, with respect to the neutral axis, so that is yung Moment of inertia with respect to sa malaking rectangle. And then minus, moment of inertia nung maliit na rectangle. Ano ba sabi ko na yun? Triangle? Lagi akong triangle lang. Anyway, so balik tayo. So, BH cube over 12. So, 8 times 10 cube over 12. So, plus 0 na. Kasi nag-coincide doon sa neutral axis yung kanyang D. And then minus 6 times 8 cubed over 12. So the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis is 8 times 10 cubed divided by 12 minus 6 times 8 cubed divided by 12. So that will be 410.6667. So this will be inches raised to 4. So let's pala natin dito yung unit. So, itong moment diagram, so, siya ay naka-pound feet. And itong kanina, yung shear, that will be in pound. Okay, next. Para naman sa Q, the sa static moment of area. So, di ba yung Q nga natin? So, yan yung para maging maximum siya, yung value niya. So, dapat yung kalahati. Anak. So, ganun lang din ang gawin natin, dagdag bawas. So, ang nangyari lang dyan, ito. Itong upper portion na yun. So, ano yung kalahati ng 10? So, that will be 5. So, 8 muna. 8 times 5. So, area times kalahati nung 5. So, 5 over 2. And then, minus yung maliit na Rectangle. So, minus 6. So, anong height niya? So, kung 8 to, so times 4, multiply by 4 over 2. Ayan. So, may static moment of area na tayo. 8 times 5 times 5 over 2. Minus 6 times 4 times 4 over 2. So, that will be 52. So, ang unit niya is in inches cubed. Next, yung B. So, yung B mo, kung ano lang yung lumapat doon sa solid B. Ano? So, ang uh, umano lang doon sa neutral axis natin is ito. At saka, ito. So, ang base mo, kung if this is 8 and this is 6, so ito, tig 1. So, that will be, ayun. 1 plus 1, or that is equals to 2 inches. So, VQ over IB, MC over I. Okay, so ano naman yung C? So, ang simo, that is just half of the depth of the tubular section. So, ang simo, that will be 10 over 2 or simply equals to 5. Ayan, meron na tayong mga values. So, I think we can now check or solve the value of P. So, unay na namin muna si horizontal shearing stress. So, again, the formula for tau or the horizontal shearing stress is VQ over IB. Okay, so, ito na. So, between these two values, kasi ito, hindi ko na i-consider ito. Bakit? Wala naman tayo masosolve eh. Kasi numerical value lang siya. Ang kailangan natin is with, in terms of P. But the question is, which of these two is the maximum? Is it P over 2 minus 500? Or P over 2 plus 500? Tama, ito. Kasi ito may ibabawas ka eh. Ito, pareho mong i-add. And that's the reason why, kung bakit ko rin pinactor out to. Kasi ba amal ito, ano? Kasi pareho negative. So, the maximum value of the shear is this one. So, ito yung gagamitin natin sa equation. Okay, okay. So, shearing stress. So, we have 100 PSI or pound per square inch. So, ang shear mo, ito. So, P over 2 plus 500. So, take note of the unit. So, that is in pound. So, wala namang problema kasi ito ay PSI. Next, B cube. So, ang cube mo, so, inches cube. So, okay lang din. Copy mo lang. 
over i. So, copy wala lang din. Naka-inches naman. 410.6667. And then, yung b mo. So, 2 inches. Okay. So, what will be the value of your p? So, 100 times 410. 7 times 2. Divided by 52. And then, minus 500 times 2. So the answer is 2158.9746 pound. Okay, so that is the answer when we consider the shilling stress. This time, we need to check now in terms of the flexural or the bending stress. So the flexural stress given as 1000 PSI, so equals to MC over I. Okay, so MC over I. So MC over I. So what is the maximum moment? So wala ka naman pagpipili ano. Kundi ito lang. Kasi ito, numerical value 5,000. Wala tayong masosolve if ito yung gagamitin mo. So ito. Kaso check, of, check the unit ha. Kung mapapansin nyo na a pound feet. So, ang kailangan natin is to convert this feet into inches. So, itong uh, equation na to, i-multiply lang natin ng 2. 2.5p minus 2.5. So, times 12. So, mc. We have c of 5 over i na 410.6667. So, what will be the value of p? So, we have 1,000 times 410.6667 and then divided by 5 divided by 12 plus 2,500 and then divided by 2.5 so 3737.778 okay so ayan so between these two values uh, which of this is the maximum value of your P? Okay, so kung maaalala yung sinasabi, yung ginawa natin dati sa mga naunang topic, diga, diga kapag uh, load ang pinag-uusapan or uniform load, ang lagi natin ginoconsider na maximum is yung smallest value. Ano? And kapag dimension yung hinahap, pwede kasi mangyari, ibigay ko yung value ng P. Tapos magbigay ako dito ng, ang gawin kong unknown is yung dimension ng section ano, so kapag yun naman ang nangyari so kapag dimension yung hinahanap ang maximum value is yung pinakamalaki so again, kapag load yung pinakamalit na value therefore, the final answer is 2158.9746 okay, so that ends our discussion for these chapters stresses and beams so again, kagaya ng ginagawa natin dati please try to answer the practice problems on your book so, malay nyo, doon ako kumuha ng exam. And, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please sh share. Like. Kung may comment kayo, or may request kayo na gusto nyo natin gawa ng tutorial, pedeng pede.